Alrighty, hey folks, welcome back to Black 2. We are here in Himalau City or something. This place. Cool place for cool people. Whoopsie. Uh, I should point out that, again, I did a bit of training off screen, not a whole lot, um, but I got everybody up to level 48, plus chip boots at 49 from the gym. Um, and now, uh, we are off chasing Team Plasma. We're going to Route 22. And which route is this? I don't even know. Let's check the town map. I'm using the town map. It's it's amazing. I don't usually do that kind of thing. All right. So yeah, I want to go to the west. Whoops. Ah, uh, there we go. So we want to go to the west, and I need to find my way there. And I should set up repels and all that good stuff. And who wants to bet that I actually need to go north to go to the west? Oh god damn it. Actually, yeah, we probably do. Because we came from the south to get here. Is there... There's stuff in the way, though. But I see places, and oh god, I'm stuck again. There's one thing I can complain about with this town. It is kind of hard to get around. There we go, this is where we want to go. Oh right, I came here by accident a little earlier. So we're entering into the end game, apparently. Which should be fun. Also not a good matchup. I'm expecting hopefully at least one more uh, big dungeon before we, uh, like, Fates Elite Four and stuff. I'm wondering how, if or how they'll exactly tie in the uh, Elite Four plot to the Team Plasma plot. Because they because they did it with uh, Black and White 1. They, that was set up, like, midway through the game, so... Uh, my doing the post-game kind of depends on what the post-game entails. Um, like, with Black and White 1, there was, like, the, the sages to track down, and things like that. If it's just a bunch of routes with trainers and new Pokémon, then there's not much to show off but I don't know what there is, so... And I'm being told not to ask about the post-game, so I won't ask about the post-game. Uh, I still don't have a great Poison-type dude, but Boris does the job. So this guy's part dark, which means hammer arm will be neutral. That'll work. Oh, and there's hammer arm's first miss. Tragic. Oh my. I probably shouldn't be using up all my hammer arms like this, but oh well. Oh right, I think Sunny um, might still have an experience share from when I was training. Or no, that was just a switch out. Never mind. Never mind.
Is an item over there? That is an item. I want it. Really an unevolved vanillite? Really? At this at this stage in the game? I guess maybe we haven't run into them yet, so they won't have the first stage evolution for GTS purposes. But that's eh, a little suspect. I have fire to destroy it, so whatever. Someday I'll memorize which ones are Fungus and Amoongus. Someday when I've played them as much as I have the red and blue. When I'm being told that there will be a thing that does stuff coming up soon. So I want to make sure I'm on my toes for that. Alright, are you an item? You're awfully high off the ground. Oh, no, you're okay. Oh, yep, that's the thing that does stuff. Check that out in just a moment. And that moment's now, so... So why don't I... Whoa. Hey! Hey, look who it is. I was just noting that, that Colorus has not appeared for like half the game. It's been far too long. Energizes Pokemon. What is that supposed to mean? Also, I have no idea what was in that cave that might have prompted his memory. Because I was there and there wasn't that much. I'm, I'm told that the Colrus machine is, is like a poke flute. So it's not in there. It'd be... Where is it? Key items? Brings out the potential of Pokemon. Yeah, I don't... That doesn't sound like a... Oh, okay. It's like the Crustle. The Crustle in the cave. And we can use the machine to energize it or something? Well then, I will uh, worry about that after I take care of this Terrakion. Is it something I can interact with and accomplish things with right now? Alright, well, I guess I should uh, head back to that cave after I catch Terrakine. Just see what wonders it has in store for me. Remind me, I don't need strength to get to that crustle, do I? Probably a good idea. So off screen in training, Amanda got uh, her hands on Dark Pulse. So we now have a special dark move for uh, our our wonderful attacks to 
to be boosted with, those nasty plot. Alright, and that's about as good as we'll get with uh, health. Time to start uh, lobbing Ultra Balls. And now we play the waiting game. Everyone's favorite game. Come on, buddy. You're gonna, like, KO Amanda sometimes so I can bring in Chip to paralyze you, or what? There we go, took you long enough. Alright, nice. I may or may not actually get the paralysis in here. I'm expecting to use Rock Slide, which I don't think makes contact. Yeah, no. And I don't think it's a good idea to try to poison this guy. That poison would uh, do bad things. At least Olivia is very good at taking hits, so I should probably be able to stall him as long as necessary. There we go, excellent. I threatened him with stalling. It always works. Are you telling me I can buy Thunder Wave somewhere? Do you know where I may be able to buy it? Now let's see if I can mash this together in some good way. Yeah, this'll work. Whoop. C T R L. Ground control. Okay, buying Thunder Wave in Nambasa, you think? Well, that is very much up my alley, and that's the wrong town. Silly me. But just a reminder of why we're chasing Team Plasma. There we go. All right, for 10,000 Poké Dollars, I think I got 10,000 Poké Dollars. Yep, that's Thunder Wave for 10,000 Poké Dollars, so that would have been useful against a bunch of, like, against Kobolion and Verizon. But, let's see here. Give that to Chip. Um, do I want to replace Volt Switch or Shockwave? I find that I don't use Volt Switch very often, and I can relearn it whenever I want if necessary, so... So now let's talk to Mr. Metal.
and heal. And now let's go take a look at that Crustle. Um, don't think it really matters which way I access it from. I think I still have a Repel up, right? Yeah. Alrighty, in we go, and let's see if I remember how to get up there. It's not over there. No, I definitely don't remember how to get there. There we go, alright, we're good. And just in case, let's save here as well. Because this could be the legendary Crustle of Legend. Although I expect it to just be a Snorlax kind of thing. So, is it pronounced Crustchul then? Crustchul? Rather than Crustle? Man, that's like pronouncing Skultula, Skultula. Just doesn't feel right, even if it's right. Now I could bring in Chip and paralyze it now, but set up Stealth Rocks, and Chip isn't fond of those. Now, I want to nickname this guy. Hmm. It is a female. Let's go with Skultola. Just because pronunciation is a weird thing. Oh god, that was a shitty machine, Colorus. You should be ashamed. Oh, hey. There's a thing. I... I went the opposite direction that you told me to. Well, now I'm curious what else is on uh, Route 22.
Alright, now is this gonna be duo team um, dungeon, or is it just alone? Also, I wanna explore this, this area here. Anything? Anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, on to uh, the SS Team Plasma.